Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you how to archive a folder with a particular date and time. For this, I have a backup folder. In every time, if you want to create any folder, whenever our uh, our uh, SSIS package runs with the date and time, like uh, like uh, now it's a uh, 2021 and uh, month is six. One like this one any folder is created with the date day with the date and then whenever that particular package is a, a particular package run that folder that archives the data over here. So now what what I am going to do is I am going to create a new SSIS package, new SSIS package. In this SSIS package, if uh, if you want to like. Um, uh, if you want to pass that one uh, that folder path backup folder so I am going to here it is going to create a new folder so I am going to take this as a new variable here I, I want to create only a new variable why because I doesn't want to hard code this I, and whenever the, during, during the deployment I, if any changes is there in the path then uh, I can do here path can be changed over here so it's a, it is of a data type string the value will be I am going to give this backup folder so that that will be the main folder like it in this main folder it's going to our uh, going to create a new for new folder to uh, whenever that particular package is run it creates a new folder for that particular date so and then and the next thing is i'm going to create another new folder like new new folder variable it is also of a stripe string and here the value will be the what we, what uh, I want like it says of a that um, uh, means I, I I want that main folder uh, a full date uh, full path and then I have to create like a new variable like I want to create a new um, what to say a new folder name so I'm going to give as archive files archive underscore plus I want to hear what I, I want to give uh, say arc file and with the date with the date now I want here as a date so I am going to give as a plus get date but get date what does it get date function does is concatenation will be done so I have to convert this get date into the string one so I am using the uh, string string function as uh, D, dt underscore str is a string function and I want the, uh, this date uh, 1252 is the code see this is the date we got with the date and time but I doesn't want this uh, time and, uh, and everything so I am going to uh, substring that one so substring How many I want? I want only the date. So I am going to give only the four. Sorry. One comma ten. So I, I got this uh, date and uh, with, with this particular date I am going to create one folder. So I am going to so okay where I am going to give this um, uh, this uh, whole uh, main main folder path desktop backup folder and I am going to create a new folder with the name arc underscore for that particular date get date. So okay evaluate and then what I am going to do how to pass that one to so I am using this one as a file system task so in this file system task i am going to care what operation i am going to do here i am going to create a new directory so i am going to create a new is the source uh, is is directory if x is true if source path variable is there uh, so here uh, here yeah, i am going to give true and source variable is what i am going to which one is a new folder so this one is uh, what i am going to do so operations 
source operation i am going to create a new directory new folder and the variable will be this uh, what i have created so okay now if you hit okay see run what what it should now oh do i am going to my desktop and i am going to see backup folder see archive uh, arch file now it's a, it's a, it has been the, uh, created at this particular date so if you run this package again see if you run this package again again no, no new folder is uh, created if you if you will go and see there in this same folder only the folder only the that is that is arch there over here the whenever this particular package runs here runs here on that particular date all this details will be for that folder will be created and it is used so that is whenever ssis package runs at that particular day that uh, new folder is created so that we can check after one month or six months like that what happens at that particular date we can go and check to that particular uh, backup folder and we can check this arch uh, values what what has been done in that particular package so this is how this um, and this is how a, uh, a, we have created an archive folder with the date so thank you thank you for listening if you like my video please subscribe and share my video